I was demonstrating this device and its use as a way to solve the Viking problem of how to have a gas enter this uh, separating tube uh, and separate the thing, uh, all the components into ones that could be identified uh, without gas coming out of here and f blocking up the mass spectrometer and causing it to f cease to cease to work and also avoiding having a, a lot of extra weight in the form of hydrogen cylinders carried along. And I was explaining this to the engineers at JPL and uh, uh, saying I could make one of these that would solve their problem for them. And uh, their response was to say, give him a bit of that palladium tube you've got. He can take it home and try it. I was in, always like to try things, make rough experiments. Never do the, the first experiments carefully. Do the most rough, rough things. And this I did. And I joined this thing to a hydrogen cylinder with a sensitive gauge telling me how much was going in uh, and passed the gas through. And at this end, I put a silicone rubber tube into a beaker of water. And as soon as I did, bubbles of hydrogen went, came up in, in the water. And you could light them. They'd go pop when you lit them as they came up in the air. And then I passed a current through this tube until the surface, uh, until the tube itself heated to somewhere in the order of 200 degrees Celsius. Suddenly, the bubbles stopped coming out at that end. W worse than that, the water down the blow started coming back up against the flow of hydrogen that was going through. And if I hadn't turned off the heat, it would have come up and quenched the whole process. Um, the engineers were looking at this and they got, you know, sort of started talking amongst themselves, got quite in, quite interested. And then one of them said, who was a skeptic, oh, that tube's blocked, that's what the trouble is. So we took it all to pieces and looked at it carefully. There's no blockage at all, it's that open all the way through joined it up again, and then increase the flow of gas coming in here. And the hy hydrogen always went out through the walls. It never came out at the end of the tube until we got right up to an atmosphere pressure of hydrogen at this end, and still nothing came out. Just beyond an atmosphere, it burst through and uh, went into mass spectrometer. Then. By that time, by the time it had reached that point, the, several of the engineers had called the rest from JPL in. So I was surrounded by rocket scientists who gave a gate cheer when they saw this thing. And that, that's the moment I, in science, in my life, I, I most treasure was that cheer from the engineers. Here's something that really works and does magic. <laughs> <laughs>